time for Gravitas Global Headlines. Iran denies reports that it has enriched uranium to 84% purity. Just shy of bomb grade, maintains that it has not made any attempt to enrich above 60%. Calls the report slanderous with distorted facts. Flooding and landslides triggered by torrential rain in Brazil claim at least 36 lives on the carnival weekend in southeast Sao Paulo state. United States' delegation of lawmakers met with the head of Taiwan's legislature. Lawmakers are currently on a five-day state visit to the island. The visit comes amid tense U.S.-China relations after weeks of trading accusations over a spy balloon. Head of Taiwan's legislature said China ignores historical fact and claims to have sovereignty over Taiwan. The delegation also acknowledged the implicit threat facing their visit, as China opposes any form of exchange between Taiwan and foreign governments. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken met Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The two leaders discussed Sweden and Finland's NATO accession. Blinken promised more help after earthquakes rocked the country two weeks ago. The Nordic country's NATO bids have been stalled because Turkey has refused to ratify them. Earlier on Monday, Blinken met with Turkish Foreign Minister and said the U.S. would support Turkey for as long as it takes. Total U.S. humanitarian assistance to support the earthquake response in Turkey and Syria has reached over $185 million, according to the U.S. State Department. New Zealand Prime Minister Chris Hipkins extended a national state of emergency for another seven days. This comes after Cyclone Gabrielle claimed 11 lives. Hipkins stressed the decision will ensure affected areas receive the resources they need. He further said over 6,000 people are unaccounted for, but we know that over 4,000 are okay. The cyclone, which was the nation's most destructive weather event in decades, brought widespread flooding, landslides and power outages. The level of damage has been compared to Cyclone Bola in 1988. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.